Uh, welcome to the Crazy Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. Uh, so, I don't, I can't believe we didn't talk about this yet. Oh, no. But, did you see that there was the female boxer that won and she just like lifted her shirt up and showed her breast to the oh, whole yeah, world? yeah, that was a while ago. Yeah, I meant to talk about this a long time ago and I totally forgot. Yeah, this happened like two, two, three weeks ago. Yeah, something like that, yeah. But, uh, so she, uh, she got... You know, I'm sure you're gonna sell it. Go ahead. What uh, what happened? I don't know. I didn't. I, I there was another part that I had. But what ha- what she get suspended or get banned or something? Uh, yeah, I think title? she got uh, debarred or whatever they call it. Yeah, I don't think she can do anymore. I don't think she can fight anymore. I don't know what like the current situation is with that because I'm sure she's probably fighting for. Oh it, yeah, right? she'll probably sue or whatever. Now she's apologetic, but I, like I don't, I don't know, man. I don't know why you're doing that ish anyway. What she said was, "Bro, come on. <laughs> I'm I'm in the dressing room before my fight." I'm stickering up, guys. Like, I actually had flame nipple stickers. I insert them right here. Shows an image that I intended to wear. Before my post-flight celebration, I was only going to pull my top up if I won with my flames, you know? Because girl on fire sort of vibes. I won my fight. I pull my top up, and the stickers got stuck in my bra, so the whole world saw my tits. My tits were out to everyone. I mean, I'm sure most of you aren't complaining. That was her quote. Nah, see? Now we getting into that. See? Nope, you're fine. I feel like if nah. she once she realized that happened, if she was going she would have reached under, grabbed the flame stickers, and been like and like showed them. Nah. Or something. Nah. Like I don't feel she would have just like I don't know, man. Like, I think that she's a dirty liar. And a dirty I, liar. And I, I mean that because that's some dirty ish to do. And there were children in that audience. I don't know if there were. I don't think there was. At a, at a fight way. ending at 11 p.m., there's kids just hanging out watching boxing. Either way, you know, like you can't you can't do that. That's an FCC thing. So you pay your FCC. And like I said, you know. Those pay per view, I think she could do it. It's, okay, well, I don't think it's illegal. Get ready to do it. Um, and, <laughs> you know, if they decide they don't want to have her work for them anymore, fine. I mean, why that you, is. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Could you imagine if a dude one just pulled his junk out? Exactly. This is my point. There is the one, uh, I think, the one UFC fighter that takes his pants off after he wins, but he's always wearing boxers. So he just takes off his trunks? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell me his name so I can never watch one of his fights again? Hey, look, you, you see how big he is, and you tell him not to do it. I mean, I'm not going to tell There's him anything. some dudes that are too big, you don't tell them not to take their pants off. You don't tell them not to do anything. Yeah, you just let them take his pants off, all right? What would you do if you were a fighter and you won a fight? What would be my... What would, what would be your celebration? What's my celebration? I'd probably do, like, the Generation X suck it or something. Oh, really? <laughs> that was the just first like, thing that came to mind, so yeah. All right. I don't, that's, uh, that's, I don't. I don't know what I would do. I might like just like sit down. This is kind of like like design your own end end game or end zone. This, game. Yeah, design your zone. own taunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I don't know uh, what I would do. I might like. I feel like I would like throw up like the the rock symbol. Like I feel yeah. like I would like do something. I don't know. It's, I don't think I do like anything crude. Pack. Can I? Can I? You? Can I have props? I mean. I don't know. So I want like two like uh, burlesque dancers. And You're gonna have ladies like come into the ring. Yeah, there's a cage, bro. I want two trans burlesque dancers. Okay, I'm in with with, with like full boas and feather gonna, or snake. Uh, feathered. Okay, thank you. I I appreciate you. I was trying to make sure you weren't talking about constrictors. You're not even wrong. Okay, <laughs> so so I want them to be there, and we're gonna do like the can. Are they trans men or trans women? Both. One, one of each, one okay. Of each. <laughs> yes, dude, I'm so progressive. Oh well, one God. of them have a snake and one of them have a flower boa, so you can like. That's a good idea. Yeah, but oh, you have an eye for the show. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna do the can can, which is like the old dance. Oh, where you're like, dun, 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 okay. Yeah, and then they leave. Right? Okay. And then another set of trans men and women come in. Okay. And they're dressed in like Russian garb. Oh, like babushkas and yeah. stuff? And okay. then we do like the Russian dance. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Okay. And then they leave. And then two would like, and then we do every country. Oh, so you're, so you're, <laughs> so you're, and are all the trans folks from that country? <laughs> Yes. Oh, we're okay. all dressed. So you have like this is the world trans showcase yes! every time. Every time you win a fight, yes, they we they will be seen. How long does this go on? 
How many minutes? I, I, it's my victory. As long right? as your fight? It's, it's my victory. I won, right? Or is there like rounds? Like there's a three minute round of it and then it's over. Like a bonus round of you and your trans dancers. I, honestly, I feel like you can't put a time limit on art. So it goes uh, as long as it goes. I don't think you can put a time limit on representation. <laughs> Is there a time limit on representation? There's not. So let let the promoter shut you down. Exactly. How's that going to look on them? I already won, man. If it's you don't 7 a.m. Yeah. If you don't want to see the show, go home. Yeah. What's go. it going to look like if you walk out on the Trans World Parade? Exactly. Mm. And then, like, on the big screen, it'll just be, like, the hottest scenes from, like, the new Barbie movie. And Okay. Weird flex, but all right. Yeah. I mean, look, I'm campaigning. All uh, right. Today What's at that? my job, we had to do trivia, and the other people wanted the team name to be I Am Knuff, and I went with it because I was like, I'm in. And we all changed our backgrounds on Zoom to the Barbie. Are you serious? <laughs> That's so awesome. Jonas is a Barbie in. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't going to because I don't ever change my background, but they were like, hey, do you think we can convince you guys to like, change your background? And I was yes. like, it's like, I hate y'all. Yeah. You're the cool boss. Yeah, I am, dude. I am. I'm the cool boss. <laughs> I, it wasn't my. It wasn't my employees though. It was just my. It was my peers. Like it was. We were out. We were doing like another thing. I was gonna say, dude, it's like the cool substitute teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that just lets you to listen to music and doesn't yeah. make you do work. It just yeah. lets you watch the Sandlot. That was Mr. Wainwright in our school. Or the Goonies. You know what? I have like. I have like this urge to watch the Goonies again. Yeah. It's been a long time. I want to listen to Cindy Lauper. Dun, 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 dun. You want to this listen? This is to... my life. This is my man. We were born. I'm sorry, John. I was black in the '80s. When they used to. <laughs> what about in the 2020s? <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm a little you know, miscellaneous hey, now. Hey, I they, that used to scare me. That movie when the, like the old lady was really mean, and then he tried to put that boy's hand in the blender. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was scary. Yeah, 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 and the part where they're like doing the skeleton's fingers piano, and like the floor keeps falling out from underneath them. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Mouth. a good movie. That guy's name was Mouth. It was Ralph Mouth. Mouth Ralph. No, it was just Mouth. It wasn't Ralph Mouth. Mouth. I thought his name was like. He Ralph might be. Mouth. That guy who was in that just won an Oscar and an Emmy or something. He was in. Uh, he was the same guy in Everything Everywhere All at Once. Oh, that was an excellent movie. That was a really good movie. Excellent movie, yeah. Yeah, I kind of want to watch that again. I kind of would. I would definitely see that movie again, especially knowing that there was like some thought put into what was happening to it. Mm, yeah, like rewatch it, like read, like mm. here's what we were trying to do with it, and then have that perspective as you mm. go in. It kind of feels like one of those movies when you're watching it. Like oh, it was a little watch, deep, man. It was a little again. emotional. Yeah. There's some emotion evoking in that thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, also. Another classic movie that I've been thinking about lately. Uh, Legally Blonde. Do you, do you remember Johnny Dangerously with Michael Keaton? Uh, I remember it. I don't. I don't. Couldn't tell you anything that happened in it. And so I will just have to tell you is that the movie's super old, dude. It's, yeah. It's a. Uh, it's kind of like a Naked Gun type of movie. Is it? But it's about. Uh, it's about a. It's about gangsters and mobsters. But it's kind of naked. A, it, it, I didn't realize it was a parody movie. Oh, it's super parody. Oh, okay. So I used to love the Naked Gun movies. Yeah, they're just so that's, stupid. Yeah, yeah. And like when I was younger, dude, I've seen that movie like a billion times because like it was back when cable was a thing and it would always be on like Showtime or HBO or whatever. And and like whenever you had bought cable, you got like the premium channels. They just play like the same movies like four or five times in a weekend. Oh yeah. Oh, like it would be like HBO would have like eight movies that just played on yep, rotation yep. and it would just it would be they still do that to this day yeah they do they really do they have like no, a handful of movies and they just play them all and i used to hate that because you'd come in and be like oh i guess i missed the first 30 minutes i can watch it later or something yeah every like four hours they'd play it again yeah dude oh it, god jones we used to watch tv yeah i don't even really watch tv at all no no them days are over with man i was thinking about getting rid of my tv no that's probably a bad idea no, you're right <laughs> <laughs> it's probably like Thanks. the worst idea you've it. ever had. Yeah, I appreciate that. So. <laughs> all right, uh, that's all the time we ever did. Please go on the crazy on the for donuts. Oh, uh, we out.